Hey guys, your boy TKIGs, bringing you guys back with another video of the following video for the Ark Survival, which a lot of you guys watch. Over 41,000 video views. Yeah! Thank you guys for that. And a lot of dislikes, 101 dislikes at today's date. Yeah! Thank you guys so much for that as well. I think I got 320 likes on that, or more, I don't remember. Thank you guys for the likes as well. And also, thank you guys for getting me to 4,400 subscribers and still growing rapidly thank you guys for all your support and everything and the feedback and also raise your comments i fixed the lighting a lot of you guys kept saying lighting 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 a lot of you guys probably disliked the video because of the lighting so thank you guys for that as well really nigga but anyways jumping on to this video if you guys haven't seen that video first link will be in the description on how to host your own dedicated server for the ps4 link is in the description so let's just jump right onto this video this video is about once you start hosting your own server what to do and to make your server fun. That's what this video title is probably going to be. Unless I can freaking think of another clever title to put this. In 2020. There's something like that. Alright, so now I'm on the PS4. If you guys don't know what I'm doing, I'm on the PS4, which I host my server on. As you guys see, I clicked X on Step 2, host my server for the PS4. And, um, there we go. I'm on. I'm ready and it's live. It's ready. Someone join in a minute into it. I'm on my... I now join into my other... Join in. I've now logged into my other PS4, and now I'm going to join into the that, that dedicated server that I just now hosted. That's what I'm doing. So, Crystal ISO just now came out. Yeah! But I don't have a PC, and I don't have Ark Survival for the PC, and I don't have a really good PC to run that shit, so I can't fucking play the new fucking map. Fan effing tastic. So, I have to wait till September to play it, because PC players get it first. Yay! All the way to September. But we do get one new dino, which is called the... I don't know how the fuck I say this. I'm going to try to say it the best I can. Chopatangas. We got the, we got the video. We got a, a dino called Chopatanga. Chopatangas. Whatever. And um, that dino is really cool. I'm going to be spawning that in as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn in all the DLC dinos from every map that I like to make a server really fun on the island. Because a lot of people, sadly, have never even saw any of these dinos. So I'm going to be doing that on my server. That's what I expect. That's what I want everyone pretty much to be doing is spawning in DLC dinos. And I'm going to start off with Aberration and spawning in the Ballisk. Because a lot of people haven't seen that. It'll, that's a really cool dino. This is all opinion, opinionated. But I'm spawning in the best DLC dinos for that specific map onto the island. So people can enjoy and play on the map. That is how you make your fucking server fun. Play on a play on the fucking island. Play on the island or whatever you want to host it on. If you host it on the center, Ragnarok, or whatever you fucking host it on. Once you put in DLC dinos on that fucking map, it makes it 20 times more fun. Alright, so now I'm spawning the bulldog. The bulb dog for which is on the aberration onto the island. And this is tameable for any of the dinosaurs. Any of them. Any of them, any of them. This will help you guys out dramatically on people joining into your server and having much fun including yourself when you have dlc dinos onto the onto the fucking um island it makes it so much fucking fun and you guys want to do that so i'm going to start off with aberration dinos that i think that are the best and then i'll move on to extinction and i'll move on to what else is there uh, i'll move on to scorch earth i'll move on to genesis and i'll move on to crystal isles which we can only use one dino from crystal isles um and which is the Tanga Gangas, the Chopa Gangas, whatever. Fucking Dino. I can never fucking pronounce that shit. I'm not even gonna fucking try no more. But yeah, so now I'm just spawning in the lantern bugs and the lighting bugs that everyone liked on Aberration. I'm spawning those in on the island. Tameable by anybody on my server. So definitely go ahead and get your DLC dinos while they're still here. Um, eventually, I do do a dino reset because eventually my. I don't know. With okay, with every server, you guys gotta expect that when people start joining in and killing all the dinos, it, the the world become, will literally become extinct. There will be no dinos on your world. So you're gonna have to do a server reset wipe, which I've already posted a video on how to do that. Um, but it's not a, called a server reset. It's just pretty much kill all wild dinos, which pretty much kills all the wild dinos, refreshes your server, and all the dinos will start to repopulate back on your earth. That's pretty much what that does. 
Also as well, what you guys want to do to increase the people joining into your server and making your server fun, as you guys still see, I'm still spawning in all these aberration dinos, or the ones that I like. But you also want to do, when people start joining in your server, you go to your servers list on your hosted dedicated server list on your PS4, and you see the people that are named under your name. The people that consistently play on your server, or you see that consistently come back, are high levels. The people that are like that, you want to friend on that, on that PS4. You want to friend them, and they will 10 times out of 10 accept it because they see you're the owner of the server. So by doing that, when your name doesn't show up, when your server name doesn't show up on that service list, by doing that, they can automatically join into your game, even though they don't see your name on that server list because they're your friend. So they can just join session on by your name every time you host a server. So that helps your chances of people seeing your name on the fucking service list when there's more people on your service list. But sometimes I had like 19, 24 people in my server and you still don't see my name on the service list. So, but I just believe the more people you have on your server, the more likely your name will be showed on the service list for people to join into. So as you guys see, I'm still sh spawning in all these dinos. Uh, I think that's on Aberration 2, I believe. This dino is on aberration. So as you guys see, I spawn them in, and I just don't like spawn them in one region. Um, I spawn them in everywhere, but I think the way I edited it, I didn't show all of it because I didn't want this video being too damn long. And as well to help it to help them spread out, they, they'll eventually migrate by themselves. But to help them spread out even faster, just throw a raptor there, and them, they'll all go crazy and run away all over the island. So that's a faster way to do it. But they'll eventually all migrate on their own and. Walk into the woods or whatever they go. I don't know. <laughs> that will be the dumbest thing ever if I follow a fucking dino and see where the fuck they go. What a fucking cool video that would be. <laughs> and that's spawning beavers. This is not really on. This is already on the island. I'm just spawning in beavers just to be spawning in beavers. Um, I don't know why I did that. I just spawned in beavers. I like beavers. Don't judge me. I like beavers. So that's also what you want to do to make your server fun. Um, I'm actually hosting one right now. Uh, I'm talking over the video if you guys didn't know. I'm hosting one right now, so I'm actually looking at my service list right now and seeing what everyone's doing. I'm probably going to do a dino reset pretty fast. But, yeah, I'll probably do more videos on this. I can milk so many videos out like this. I can do how to, what are the differences between renting a server and hosting a server. Oh, look, now I'm spawning in the goat. Huh, I like this one. A lot of people like this on Aberration. I love the goat. These are little cute little goats. I love them. I spawn these usually in on, the, on, in on the beach so everyone can see what I'm doing. Um, it's so much fun when you do this. It's so much fun. I suggest you all to spawn in DLC dinos. You guys probably don't have to if you guys don't want. I suggest you do this. You guys don't have to spawn all the DLC dinos that you guys like from every DLC map. I preferably do do that because the more DLC dinos, the better. And I actually had footage that I fucking, I think I accidentally deleted, of people saying, Oh my god, I've never seen this dino before, what is this? Oh my god, I can tame it? Like, it's so sad that a lot of people don't know that, you know, owners or admins can add in DLC dinos. They don't know that because usually admins don't add in DLC dinos and if they do, it's only for them only. Or they charge you money for the shit. So that's another thing I want to talk about. There's a lot of servers that... Charges, charges you money for this shit. So, like, if you want a Pacific Dino, I'm, sp I'm spawning the, what is it, the Mega Wyvern? I spawned them in over there by the lava, I believe. Spawning, oh, this, now I'm on the Scorch Earth. <laughs> so now I'm spawning all the best DLCs for the Scorch Earth. But anyways, back to what I was trying to say was, um, people charge people for playing on their server. People charge people for playing with certain DLC Dinos. Say like if you wanted uh, a Ferox and we're playing on the island, they'll charge you like twenty dollars for it. And if you want it at a certain level, they'll charge you an extra twenty dollars for it. Like people are banking money off of this shit, and I feel like that shit's wrong. You know what I mean? I feel like people should be able to play play on your server without paying for it, or without paying for a specific dino that they want. You know what I mean? Just want it in the game, let them work for it. So that's what I'm doing. It's everything's a fair game with me on my server. So if you guys want to join my server, it's called I'm looking at my server right now. 
a thousand X boosted 24 7 that is what my server is called I keep up to date with my server I do write um, I do broadcast messages I'd say where DLC saddles are I may make a video on that as well because you probably you guys probably think well you spawn the DLC dinos but how do we get the saddle to actually ride it I also have a plan for that as well and I might make a video on that of what I do for that as well I, I usually just freaking throw in storage boxes all around the beach and I just put DLC you know I just put in the DLC saddles for those DLC dinos that you guys can catch on my server I usually do that or I plant signs saying where the fuck these you know these saddles are that also works but usually what I do is I just pretty much spawn in um, airdrops all in one area and they're usually gold, so it'll show through the whole map. So it'll be like a gold airdrop, gold airdrops in one little region. And everyone runs to that region to see what the fuck that shit is. And then that's how they find the saddle. I'm like, damn, I'm spawning a lot of these Jerboas in. Of course, they're spawning a lot. So look how many Jerboas I just spawned in there. That's a lot. And eventually they'll all migrate all into the woods. So all it takes is one vicious dinosaur to come out onto this fucking beach and they'll all scatter. So. I think I even spawned in the center of What is this? What am I spawning in now? What am I going to spawn in now? <clears throat> oh, the Rock Elemental from Scorch Earth. I also spawned in the aggressive dinos as well. Gotta spawn those in. And it, oh, I also want to say too, what I do as well, once my server starts dying off, meaning once my dinos start not spawning and it becomes actually extinction on my server on the island, because like dinos eventually will stop spawning. Once that starts dying off, I usually start spawning in harder dinos on my server. And then I'll eventually do a dino reset and kill all the dinos and um, the, it'll repopulate by himself. So now you see me spawning rock elementals like I said. I do spawn some on the beach. I don't know why I'm doing that. I think I spawned some on the beach. Probably scare some people. Usually I like to spawn like harder dinos like this. Like probably in the woods. Or like in harder areas. I don't know why I'm doing that on the beach. But I am. So Rock Elementals is a really good dino that I spawn in on my server. Again, all these dinos are tameable. What is this one? The Death Worm, of course. The Death Worm I spawn in. Uh, also from Scorch Earth. Everyone likes the Death Worms. I think I do spawn these on the beach. Now this would be terrifying to a random player that's never seen any of these DLC dinos before. This would be extremely terrifying for them to be running on the beach. Yeah! cutting wood and then boom they get attacked by a fucking death worm that's not even on the map but again all this shit is again tameable so just just basically putting in death worms on the beach and yeah so I did all the aberration dinos that I like for aberration and now I moved on to scorch earth as you guys see what I'm doing now and I think I move on to extinction next What's next after? Oh, kangaroos. I never spawned in the kangaroos yet. And I also spawned in unicorns too. And oh, I spawned in a thorny dragon. Also from Scorch Earth. Thorny dragons are one of those dinos that I love on Scorch Earth. They're, they're sick. I love them. A lot of people um, use those on Scorch Earth. So I spawned those in on the island as well. As you guys see, I'm sporadically spraying, putting these dinos everywhere on the map. So everyone has a chance to see all these types of dinos. See a lot of people that build a lot of houses. Oh my god, I have so many houses on my fucking on my fucking server. Also, I spawned the Phoenix Six. Yeah, you gotta the Phoenix. The Phoenix is another really cool fucking dino that I spawn on my map. Gotta have the Phoenix Six, the Phoenixes on the island. It wouldn't be Scorch Earth if you did not have the Phoenix on that bitch. So I spawn these in, and all these are tameable. All they have to do is literally go up to them and click triangle and claim. That's all they got to do. And they'll stay here forever until someone claims them. So I put those on the island as well. So what I'm doing right now is I spawned in them as mine, and now I'm unclaiming them so anyone can claim them once they run into them. It's pretty awesome. And I still have yet to spawn in the kangaroo. So basically, I like a lot of DLC dinos for the Scorch Earth. So that's what I like a lot. Because I'm spawning in a lot of Scorch Earth dinos. And then I spawn these, the moral, the moral Tops, whatever they're fucking called. They're on Scorch Earth as well. You see a lot of them out everywhere. They're definitely in the desert as well. 
wouldn't be the same without those for on scorch earth i throw those on on the beach as well they're harmless unless you hit them so i spawn them on the beach that's why i spawn them on the beach like that and yeah guys this is how to make your server fun man i'm just showing you guys what i do on my server so if you guys ever want to join my server for one day or you want to see how my server is you'll see all the dlc dinos everywhere and you guys get to see what i do and it's not just fun for everyone, it's also fun for me. It's also fucking fun for me. I want to stress that a lot because it's so much fun for me too. Because I be even I play legitly on my server, I really do. I play legitly unless I'm putting in dinos inside the map, like I'm doing now. But other than that, I play legitly. And then there you go, the mighty kangaroo, the pro cop of this. I don't know how to say that word. But I put the kangaroo in there as well. I put a lot of kangaroos on there. Because I love the kangaroos on Scorch Earth. A lot of dinos I like on Scorch Earth. Spread them out. They all run over and hop everywhere. And yeah, guys. People will be psyched to see these things. Once they run on the beach and they see this shit. They're like, whoa. I'm, I'm going to fucking favor this fucking server. I'm going to come back again, 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 again. But Arc Logic is. My server doesn't even show on the fucking list. I don't know why. It doesn't matter how many people I have on my server. It just doesn't show sometimes. And that shit's so fucking annoying. I don't know why it does that. And there's no fix for that. So spawning in all these fucking kangaroos. Again guys, this is guys this is what you want to do once you start hosting your own server. This is what everyone wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do before I even hosted a server. I was like, yo, once I join someone's server, I hope and pray that they have DLC dinos on that server. If I if I want if I play on this island, I will hope that I will see a Genesis dino on there. I will, I will hope to see a Scorch Earth dino on there. I will hope to see a abbrevi abbreviation. Abbreviation. I was gonna say abbreviation. Aberration dino on there. I will hope to see those things on that shit, dude. Cause like it makes the fucking game way more fun. Oh, you guys see I'm still spawning in kangaroos like crazy. <laughs> kangaroos are the shit, bro. Fuck kangaroos are the shit. I love the kangaroos. I have not one I have not tamed one of those yet on my server. But I will soon. I will fuck soon. Another reason why I'm spawning, I spawn in the things that don't really attack other dinos on the beach, besides the rock elementals, as you guys saw I did. But I usually spawn those on the beach so people can actually see that, oh shit, he has DLC dinos on here. Or you just broadcast a message on there saying you got DLC dinos, but some people don't believe that. Saying, hey, I have DLC dinos on my, uh, on my uh, server, come play. And they come play and they don't see any DLC dinos. And then they think you're a liar and then they'll never come back again. So you just lost a playable... Uh, player that could have potentially been a player that would come back over and over and so basically that's why I spawn them on the beach so people usually spawn on the beach so once they start running on the beach they'll see a DLC dino so I'll make clear and cut throat to them that I mean what I say damn I'm still spawning in all these kangaroos man damn you do not have to spawn these many kangaroos if you guys don't want like you guys don't have to do this you guys can and you guys are seeing commands too the commands of what I do I do a lot of commands on my server oh my god I do so many commands I can even do videos on that of the commands that I use commands you must use once you start hosting a server I can do that as well I can literally milk these videos out if I want to I want to also start by saying this as well I will be getting last of us part two and I will be I was thinking about live streaming it yeah I'm probably gonna live stream I'm gonna start live streaming last of us part two for sure so, be expecting Last of Us Part 2 on my channel. It comes out Friday. I've been waiting for so long for Last of Us. I've been a big fan of Last of Us for a long time. I've literally beat Last of Us like 12 times already. Am I still, I'm still finding Kangaroo. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it literally looks like I'm obsessed with Kangaroos. I promise I'm not, but they are, they are beasts. I love Kangaroos, but... I'm spawning in a lot. This I literally had to probably spawn in like what 70 kangaroos by now. That's like 70 kangaroos.
That's like 70 kangaroos. So if you guys go to this area on my map, you're going to see a shit ton of them. They're probably migrated by now. Don't get me wrong. They probably migrated by now. So that's the good thing. I like how they all have their own brains and do their own thing. What's next? Am I still on Scorch Earth? Or is that extinction? Oh, Snow Owl. So that is extinction. Great. So I do spawn in the Snow Owls on the island as well. So people can see that. They are aggressive breed. They will attack anything they see. Don't know why. I wouldn't expect the Snow Owl to, to attack everything. though. No, I don't understand why they do that. But on this game, they made snow snow owls really aggressive. Spawn them in the snow area, snow area as well. Again, spawning in all the best DLC dials that I think, in my opinion, are the best on every map. That's what I do. So I do have uh, snow owl saddles. In airdrops only when I'm online um, I spawn in again I spawn in a lot of airdrops around one area and I put those saddles in those in those airdrops I can't forget about these gas bags I think they're also from yeah they're also from extinction put the gas bags in there love gas bags <laughs> Not a lot of people haven't seen these gas bags before they're really cool they like puff themselves up <laughs> like that they're really cool. I definitely spawn them all over the place. Again, you guys see how much fun it will be on my server. Go ahead and join in. Actually, my server is actually dying right now from the dinos. I'm going to do a server reset pretty soon. I think I got, yeah, I only got like 22,000 dinos in my server. You're supposed to have like 28,000 or more on the island. I'm at 22,000, so it's definitely dying. <clears throat> Once I get to like 19,000, I'll kill all dinos and repopulate the earth again. Am I still spawning in snow? Oh, am I still spawning in gas bags? Let's see. Yep, more gas bags. Game server name is Thousand X Boosted Twenty Four Seven. You guys want to join in my server? I play on the island. I host my server on the island. Go ahead and join in and feel free to say hi if you see me on. Feel free to say hi. A lot of people stop by and join in. So, definitely a fun server to play on. I really wish we could have got Crystal Isles so mad. Man, I'm so mad about that shit, dude. I really wanted to play Crystal Isles, and now we gotta wait till September to play it, and only PC players can play it. So, I literally gotta wait all the way to fucking September. Fucking sucks. But, who cares? Last of Us 2 is coming out this Friday in like a couple more days. Bro, I'm buying that shit and I'm gonna be live streaming it for y'all. So, stay tuned for my Last of Us Part 2. I'm a beast of Last of Us. I know I'm gonna be a beast of this game as well. Extinction. The Magnamar. Oh, hell yeah. This is one of my favorite dinos that I spawn in on... Extinction onto the island the magmar you can have two saddle or you can have a saddle and two people can ride on it It's so amazing, and I do have those saddles also in airdrops and And uh, crates around the beach So you might you can run into one and you can get the saddles for this Tameable again all these dinos are tameable for anyone They're all wild I spawn in a lot of these because and they're they're aggressive breed too. They attack anything they'll see but I've spawned them on the beach so people can know that I also spawned it in Extinction Dinos. One of my favorite dinos. Shoots the ice beam and everything, dude. I love the Magnamar. They're fucking they're fucking cool. So I already spawned in everything from uh aberration. I think I spawned in everything from I think I'm on extinction right now. And I already spawned everything from Scorch Earth. So it doesn't really take all this long to do. But it's just mainly because I'm only picking the ones I like. I'm not spawning in every single DLC dino that's on the fucking map. Fuck no. Fuck that. It takes too long. I'm only spawning the ones I like.
Dude, they're so cool. Let's call it the Ice Jumper. If you guys want, you guys can copy these commands too. If you're an admin on a server or whatever, you guys can copy this, these commands. Yeah, bro. Free commands. I might make another video. Again, I might make another video saying like commands you want to use once you start hosting a server. Might do a video like that. But I don't want it, this coming like a thing to where I keep milking videos like this. I don't want to keep milking videos like this. But I am showing you how fun my fucking server is. So I have to show you guys that. Damn, I'm spawning a lot of these. So when do I move on to the next dino? More of them, okay. Wow. Alright, I think I stopped there because that's a lot. But you guys see I'm flying around and I'm spawning them in sporadically around the map, like I've been saying. I do that with all the dinos. Extinction the Enforcer. Another fucking cool dino that I spawn in on my uh, server. I spawn all those on the beach. And they're not aggressive. So, I spawn them all on the beach as well. Just like that. I don't think I spawned too many of these in. I think I only spawned in like one section of the map. And these things are good too because they uh, spread out and they do their own thing. Again, so sad. A lot of people haven't seen these dinos. I have so many reactions. I was going to make a video of that, of that as well. Showing all the reactions on the people that seen my DLC dinos on the map. And seeing them and seeing it's free and people not charging them for the shit and just seeing the reactions it's fucking prices man like they never seen these dinos before it's kind of sad because a lot of people just can't you know people just can't afford the dlc and for a lot of people just don't want it but they'll rather play with the dlc dinos on the map and just have fun like that like you know, i'm doing right now giving them the dlc dinos not for free but well it's for free but you know what i mean they still have to work for it that's what I'm trying to say. Let's go out to work and tame it. Alright. Uh, I think that's all I spawned in. That's a lot. That's a lot. So that's all I spawned. Oh, I think I spawned some more over here. Didn't I? Yay. And the getcha. You can't forget about him on Extinction. I love this dino as well. I think they poop out crystals. Freaking sick. Literally, it's freaking sick. I think I fucked it up there, though. Huh. They're like standing on top of each other. I spawned in too many at the same time. I think I fixed it, though. Yeah, I fixed it. This is how I, this is not how I populate my earth, my server. I did make another video on this as well, but this is not what I do to populate. Um, this is just what I do to make the server fun. The Karkinos, fuck yeah, the Karkinos is another good dino to use and I think I, I put put the Cardinals around this guy's base because there happened to be a base there which this is a separate island across from all the other island from the big island and uh I put Cardinals all over here and someone had a base here so I was like fuck it I'm just gonna put them here anyway those things are vicious man Cardinals are vicious as hell Hmm. 
That's kind of a lot. Oh, okay, I'm in another area. Okay, good. It's almost freaky how they move, too. Like, ugh, it's freaky how they move. Look at that. So, I spawned in some of the lava area as you guys saw there. Still spawning a lot more, damn. I found another fucking base. Mine Harkin was there. So I think I spawned in some in his base. <laughs> that shit was funny. Alright, Genesis time. The Mechalon. The Mech I don't know how to say that. The Mechachalon? I think I did it. Yeah, I did it. The Mechachalon. The Mechachalon. I spawned that in, the big ass turtle which you get to make a house on. Spawned a lot of those in on the map. So now, I'm pretty much wrapping it up now because that's the last DLC map besides the new one that just came out a couple days ago, which is Crystal's Isles, which I don't, which we don't get until September. But only PC players get it. Yay. I think I got them stuck on each other. Yeah, I got them stuck on each other. So there's quite a few Genesis Dinos that I like. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on there. I start off with the Mega Shalon for sure. Ugh. A lot of those bastards. So I spawned them like everywhere, man. I don't know how many I spawned in this one. Oh, look, I just think I just, an ice jumper just found me. So as you guys see, it's coming along great. So Ice Jumper literally has went all the way that far across the map. So they're actually migrating. That's good. It's a good sign they're migrating. Uh, mm. <laughs> the Mega Shalon. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and start with the next Genesis dino that I like to spawn in. Do you guys guess that dino? Well, I think I spawned a little bit more Mega Shalon, Mega Shalon turtles in. Alright, I guess spawn more of them. I think I threw some in the water. Damn. I kind of overdid it with the big ass turtles, but I know a lot of people will want to make a base on the turtles, so I spawned a lot of those in. The Magamasaur, for sure. Got to put those in there for sure. Um, I love those. A lot of people haven't seen this dino, so I was like, I got to put that shit in there for sure because, like, it's a very strong lava dino, and you it's just you will never fucking see a lava dino, a lava dino like that, and they're just amazing. Look, Snow Owl migrated onto the beach. I spawned them far away from the beach. Oh, actually, I should think I spawned some on the beach, but that, I'm pretty sure that one migrated by itself. All these again are tameable to anyone. Saddles as well. Saddles I got on the beach as well. And in supply crate drops and loot drops and all that shit. Airdrops. And what do I spawn? Oh, I spawned some in the, in the fucking swamp area. I think I probably spawned it, what? How many? A couple? I only spawned one in the swamp area. That was random. I know I spawned it some in the lava area. I have to. I have to. I think I did that. There it goes. Oh no, the lava's right there. Now I smiled it. The stuff, the, the magma sword in the lava. Oh, by the lava, not in the lava. By the volcano and shit. There you have it.
for now, I just move on to the next dino. Which is the Ferox! Everyone loves the Ferox. I spawn the big form and I small and I spawn in the small form. So there's the small forms and I spawn the big forms. And I just start throwing in unicorns and stuff that you normally wouldn't see. These are the most I think the unicorn is the most rarest fucking dino you can find. In the whole entire game, I think the unicorn is. So I spawned a lot of those unicorns in. And now Crystal Isles, the Tropagondus. The Tropagondus. So, this dino is so badass. Look at this, man. He's a badass dino. Gotta spawn those in for my people. You already know what it is. I gotta spawn those things in for my people. So I got the settles for that as well on the island. If you guys see me on too, I'll give it to you. Uh, a lot of people already have a lot of saddles. You can go rob a base. They have a, they have the saddles. I put the it all math the saddle comes with the jetpack and all that shit. Uh, you do need gasoline for it, and to shoot the cannons, you do need uh, grenades for that as well. I love this one. And if you want to go super fast, I think you hold R3 down. <coughs> <coughs> this dino is so badass, man. But to show you guys, but to tell you guys how lean I am. Oh, look, I tried. I even tried to attack this base with using the uh, cannon I got on it. Yeah, I started attacking it, yep. This is kind of a dick move, but I didn't destroy all this shit, but it's all good. So, this will be a great dino to go to tri boards with. Like, this will be perfect for that. So, I just pretty much acted and committed a, a war. I don't think the guy was home, though, so I was good. And now I just simply start spawning in the Chomagundus dino, the new dino from Crystal Isles, all over the fucking map. So yeah guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. That's what you want to do once you first start hosting your server. Spawn in those DLC dinos. Do it. Don't charge people for it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it, man. You won't you won't regret the shit. Just do it. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm pretty sure it's all the dinos I spawn in. It doesn't get no more better than that. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. You guys made it this far. Smash that like button as Further ado, bro, I don't know what my next video is going to be. Probably Modern Warfare. You know what? It probably is, Yeah, it's probably going to be Modern Warfare. And then Last of Us 2 live streams will be coming up pretty soon. So I'll see y'all in The Last of Us 2. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys join my live stream. Oh, and right now I'm up here broadcasting the message saying DLC Dinos. But yeah, see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching and your support. I'm out.